We're going to take a look at one more triple integration that's in rectangular form, but covering a different concept than what we've covered already. So here's the problem. First octant region bounded by the plane 3x plus 7y plus 2z is 42. We're going to set up the triple integral for volume, but we're going to use a non-standard order, dx, dy, dz. So our objective is to set up volume equals 1, 2, 3, dx, dy, dz. That is our objective. So I cannot stress this enough adding extra labels for material that we're learning in non-traditional means, but also three dimensions is difficult. Label things. That's going to be X. That's going to be Y. That's going to be Z. These Z boundaries have to be constants. So let's do some detective work and see what we can't come up with. So we have the plane itself. Z, Y, X. X intercept happens to be 14. 14. The Y intercept happens to be 6. And the Z intercept happens to be 21. So yet again, my picture, my graph here is not to scale. But that triangle represents the portion of the plane that's in the first octant. Now, there's several things we could do immediately. One thing I could choose to do was just note, if the Z boundaries are constant, well, Z goes from 0 to 21. And I could write in 0 and 21 right now. The other thing I'd like to point out is I've been sort of looking at most of our triple integrals right now is we could think of them as a double integral with a third dimension added in. So I want to try to convince you that x is 0 is one of the boundaries. When x is 0, you are on the yz plane. You're on the yz plane. That is clearly one of the boundaries of this region. And then the upper or farther x value is the equation of this plane when we solve for x equals. So let's do that. We have 3x plus 7y plus 2z is 42. 3x equals 42 minus 7y minus 2z. Divide by 3. 14 minus 7 thirds y minus 2 thirds z. This, my students, is the um, upper limit of integration in the x direction. So I'm going to come back to my triple integral here. 14 minus 7 thirds y minus 2 thirds z. Now, if we have this equation of the plane and we now let x equal 0 because we have accomplished this third dimension, we would be left with 7y plus 2z is 42. This is the equation of that line that is in the yz plane. So in that yz plane, we would see y-axis was 6, z-axis was 21. So that triangle there 
would be our two-dimensional region for the remaining part of our integral. So doing detective work now, I need to solve this for y equals. Well, y equals 0 would put me on the x-z plane, or the z-axis as in the case is with this two-dimensional picture. But I need the equation of that line, and my variables are not in traditional order here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and we're going to solve it for y equals, and we're going to get 42 minus 2z divided by 7, or we'll call it 6 minus 2 sevenths z. That is my y equals upper limit of integration, 6 minus 2 sevenths z. Finally, if 3x plus 7y plus 2z is 42, and we already let x be 0, and now if we let y become 0, we get 2z is 42, and z is 21, which is no surprise because that is where this three-dimensional graph hit on the z-axis. So z goes from 0 to 21, would indeed be our limits of integration for z. So this is the triple integral for volume for that first octant planar, planar region um, calculating volume. Now, a problem to send you away with. Remember, you have a pause button. Use it if you have to. You have a mute button also. You might need to use that sometimes as well. Let's suppose I gave you the first octant region already dressed up in a triple integral for volume. Could you rewrite this in dy dx dz order? Could you switch it? Could you go back to the problem on the previous page, go back to the original equation of the plane, strongly considering starting with z knowledge to do this? For my students, I'm going to post it on our site for others, this will be a good challenge problem to uh, take back to your own classes. Good luck, happy hunting.